Hi guys, um, my name is Mitz and I want to show you another way to turn a PowerPoint um, slide presentation into a video. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you what I'm recording this video with right now. Okay, so I'm going to go to Cam Studio. Okay, it's a free program, totally free. So this is what I'm recording with right now. See how it's there, it's moving, it's recording. Okay, now I've set my screen size to a certain size, so I'm, it's on fixed region and I've got 720 by 480, okay? Now if you need to pause the video to f check out these settings then do that, that's fine. Right, the other settings that I've got is that I've got record audio from microphone ticked and also um, I went into the audio options and made sure that it was um, going from my microphone so I just press on that and it just says default input um, device so yeah anyway um, you can leave it on default settings if you like if some kind of audio doesn't work then press on this button here choose compressed format and you get to choose which one and try them out. Now I'm not worried about compressing it too much because I'm putting it on YouTube and they actually convert it again and make it so it plays nicely. Okay, all I'm worried about is the quality of the audio which is okay by me. Alright, so I'm going to press OK and the other thing that I had was video options and I um, downloaded the Cam Studio lossless codec and um, then it, once you've downloaded it it'll show up as an option in here so you just have to Google that if you want it. Um, I've also used DivX which is probably better but that was actually a trial okay and the Cam Studio lossless codec is free okay so that's what I'm using now check out the settings again, I've really changed them here okay um, so I've got 30, 50 and 20 here so check it out pause the video if you have to just so you can set it the same okay so I don't, the other thing is that I did go and take off um, the cursor options, so I'll go to cursor options and I said hide cursor and also take off this highlight cursor because you know it's still going to highlight it even though you can't see it so press OK so that's pretty much what I did okay so and what I'm using here is a really cheap headphone set thing it was about twenty dollars or something like that from Amazon so that's what I'm using at the moment um, okay so what I did is I opened up PowerPoint so obviously I'm not going to show you how to open up PowerPoint because it's just your open up program okay now the next thing I did was I started a new slide now I went and grabbed a template from um, PowerPoint so what I did is I went new and um, I pressed on a oh what did I go one of these I went through them and had a look so just have a look it downloads it so all different ones so I just chose let's have a look see just press on them okay and then all you have to do I don't even know what I chose but look there's heaps of them okay um, now just choose something that suits you I think I chose a business presentation right clicked on it and then I had all these choices here I'm like whoa anyway choose the one that's best for you and then go and press download and it'll just open up straight away so I'm going to cancel that so that's what I did and then I jazzed it up a little bit okay by adding some more text boxes here and then adding a style to them so that was basic just say I did it right now I went to insert text box did a text box wrote something 
and while I'm still in there I went up to quick styles and chose black and there we go that's all I did and to get that arrow there I actually just went up to insert and then clip art and found the arrow in the list which is down here see there's the arrow right, I'm going to close that so I'll delete that right so this is what I did I changed it from a plain uh, PowerPoint slide to this and um, then I went to the next slide and I changed it to suit me because it had dull grey writing here so I selected it and made it all black and then I made some words red okay and to go on and on right these slides came with it so I just filled them in and then the next one okay so now you can see that I've got the video right I'm gonna press on the first one now this is how you make a video out of these slides you can do it right here using cam studio and all you do is start recording okay so first we're gonna line it up right so what happens is I'm lining it up so it so it can see the actual um, the slide okay um, you can make it bigger or smaller or whatever you like and now just say I start talking about it hi how are you blah 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 right now I'm gonna pause for a second and I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna go to the next slide but you can also use a keyboard shortcut to do that so you know don't panic just press um, the up and down key on your keyboard okay so it's only the arrow so let's just say we go down see that down oops I pressed back accidentally down and down now that means that I can change the slide anytime I like right in this video and I just say I finished talking with that one so now I can go on to the next one okay and now I can go on to the next one just don't press the keyboard as hard as I do make it quiet all right so basically that's it now I'm finished the video okay okay guys after saving the video it comes up and um, you can have a preview of it if you want press play and um, see how it's all um, on the screen beautiful right so let's stop it now the next process would be to edit it but okay let's close it now I go and use cam studio to edit it and put some effects and um, Oh, transitions in between and all that now if you're a you, look you can use Windows Media Player as well but uh, it just doesn't come up with a really good quality now the thing is if you um, don't want to do that it is quite simple not to have to edit if you just press that down button and go or up or down right so just say you're on the slides so if you just get on the slide so people can see it and press the down button okay and um, go through your slides like that and then say you know thanks very much for watching and shut it off okay now that's it okay now uh, and then upload like oh sorry then upload it to YouTube and use it for backlinks and advertising and stuff like that so that's how easy it is you've got to go and do it okay see ya now if you want to see the video that I made just click the link below so you can go to the article that I wrote about it and there's an actual video that I made with these slides so I mean it's not perfect but you can just see that it's just fine okay and it gets the job done okay see ya